Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're having a great day. Today in this video, we are going to be making meatloaf. If you guys watched last week's video, that was about meatballs. And so today we are going to make meatloaf. Let me show you all the ingredients that we're gonna need. There aren't a whole lot of ingredients to make meatloaf. Of course, we're gonna need ground beef, and then we also have our Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. We're gonna be using a yellow onion, two eggs, some milk, and some ketchup for the recipe, and then we're also gonna use some ketchup for our topping. If you guys don't have Italian seasoned breadcrumbs at home, you can do like I did and make your own. And I'll put a link up here to last week's video about meatballs, and it's the step one in that video on how to make the Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. So go check that out. Let's go ahead and preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or about 177 degrees Celsius. Now let's mix all of our ingredients together. So there's our ground beef and our eggs. Let's go ahead and mix this just a little bit before we add the rest of our ingredients. We're gonna add a half a cup of milk and let's mix this again together. Let's add all of our onions and you wanna chop these up pretty finely. And again, mix it all together. And we're also going to add a half a cup of ketchup. Mix this around again. And lastly, we're going to add our Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. Mix this around really good, and then we'll be ready to put it into our loaf pan. This is the loaf pan that I'm using today. It's about a four inch by 10 inch, and so you guys just need to adjust your cook time based on the size of your loaf pan. Our ingredients are all mixed up really well, and so we're going to put it into our loaf pan and just flatten and press as you go. Just make sure that it's even. Get it all in there and then press it in. All right, let's put our little loaf in the oven and we're gonna let it cook for about 40 minutes. All right, it's been 40 minutes, so let's go ahead and take it out of the oven and we're ready to put our topping on. Our meatloaf has been baking for 40 minutes. I went ahead and pulled it out and now it's time to add our ketchup topping. So we're going to take a quarter cup of ketchup. And we're gonna spread this on the top and just try to get it kind of evenly. We're gonna give this another 20 minutes in the oven. I pulled the meatloaf out of the oven. It's been almost 20 minutes. And now we're gonna make sure that it's cooked all the way through by using a meat thermometer. So we're gonna take our thermometer and put it right in the middle of our meatloaf. We want our temperature to be 160 degrees Fahrenheit or in Celsius, let's look, 72 degrees Celsius. So let's see what our thermometer is reading. So it stopped at 66 degrees, so we're not quite there yet. So I'm gonna put it back in the oven for another 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and check our meatloaf again and see if it is up to temperature. It's been another 10 minutes and we are almost to 70 now. Oh yeah, it's hotter than 72. So perfect, we're ready. We're gonna let this set for 10 minutes and then we'll go ahead and cut it. All right guys, it's time to try mom's meatloaf. It smells really good. I like it, it's good. It's a little sweet. Yeah, this is good. Probably because of ketchup, maybe. Yeah, probably because of ketchup. It tastes good, Mom. All right, here we go, guys. Giving it a try. Julie's meatloaf special. Hmm. It's good, yeah. It tastes just like meatloaf. I mean, oh, it's good. What more can you say about meatloaf? It's delicious. Okay, my turn. It's good. I am excited about this because my grandpa, he used to make meatloaf in a huge batch for potluck and it was always gone, completely gone. So I'm excited about this meatloaf. <laughs> mm -hmm. It is, it's really good. It tastes a lot like the meatballs that we made, but 
these, this right now is warm. We were actually eating the meatballs cold and this is warm, so it's really good. I like it. The recipe is in the description of the video. You guys go check that out. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hope you guys have a great day and keep smiling.